Okay guys, so I just had a vlog discussion and review and giveaway about the vitamins and the supplements that I take that I started taking right after I had the baby. These are a product that I was like able to try but I ended up liking so much that I have bought more on my own. I put my money where my mouth is so to speak and then I'm also doing a giveaway on it so that's awesome so you should go check that out those are the supplements I take but now what I want to get into is the meaty topic of placenta encapsulation it sounds crazy I know it does it sounds kind of gross and kind of weird and maybe some of you it sounds kind of cool and others of you you're like yeah what I do it all the time it's totally awesome but <laughs> however you approach it placenta encapsulation is kind of a thing <laughs> don't want to call it a weird thing or a great thing or whatever it's a thing I did it I did this thing am I crazy am I gross I don't know maybe but let me tell you why I did it basically the main thing that encouraged me to try it is that I heard that it really could help with the baby blues I was very blessed I never really had any kind of postpartum depression however I did have as almost every mother does the baby blues and that is basically just kind of a gentle way to say that you do you don't have like kind of full-fledged postpartum depression but you definitely get a little bit of the mopies a little bit of the weepies going on there and that's because the hormones in your body after you pop out that kid go nutso they don't know what's happening some of them think you're still pregnant some of them realize you're not so they're all like I'm gonna drop down the other ones are like whoa 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 there might still be a baby they kind of fight and everything's crazy and then everything starts to balance out and you're like, all right. In the meantime, while that's happening, while they're all having that battle, you're like, I don't know what's happening to me. You will see a commercial about a can of dog food and you'll cry and it'll be ridiculous. You'll have weird thoughts about your babies getting hurt or, or like just random things. Like I used to have these terrifying, and when I first had my daughter, I had terrifying images, terrifying images that if I wasn't careful when I walked, I was going to trip over something and fall and she was going to fly out of my arms and over my balcony to her death. I was terrified that that was gonna happen. How weird is that? That's ridiculous, but that's those hormones for you. Like I was literally scared my child was somehow going to be launched over my balcony. <laughs> Like, and I used to be like, every time I'd hold her so tight, just in case, just in case I somehow managed to happen. And so, yeah, baby blues, as much as that's a gentle name, are a very real thing, and I don't like them. I don't like weeping when I see a can of dog food open, and the dog's eating it, and they're happy. I don't like being like, oh, life's beautiful. <laughs> and so, and also, the thing is, is it's not always even negative things completely. Like, I would get really, really, really weepy about all the good things that had happened in my life and how that they, that was, that was done. Like, I, I remember just sobbing because I was like, I loved being pregnant so much and now it's gone. But it was so wonderful and like, it was just my home, my, oh, my emotions were crazy. That is the main reason I was like, I want to try this placenta encapsulation crazy thing. So, and then the other thing I heard is that it helps keep your immune system kind of boosted. It helps give you iron. And I, and I do have an issue with my dog is trying to find a comfortable spot to lay down and it's distracting me. Maybe he needs some. I also heard it could help with the immune system and that it, it was really good source of iron. And also your placenta is chock full of nutrients. That, my friend, is actually a scientific fact. The thing that is not a fact, the thing that we don't know is if you digest the nutrients from that placenta, do they help you? We don't know. At the end of the day, science does not know enough to say yay or nay to placenta encapsulation doing what people say it does. We don't know enough about it. There aren't enough studies. There are hit and miss studies all over the place. I highly encourage you to go and look them up yourself because I'm not going to be the Wikipedia thing going on right here, but I will tell you just point blank, science does not know one way or the other. So that being said, how do you base deciding if you're going to do it or not? You have to take in other considerations besides science when deciding if you're going to basically consume your placenta. <laughs> 
So, and my, like I said, my considerations were, you know, one of the things that made me help, that helped make that decision for me into this realm of, into this realm of slightly off my comfort zone was that when I found out that almost every animal in nature will consume their placenta after they have a baby animal of cuteness. <laughs> The theory, like I said, I don't know for sure, is that it's because it does aid the mother. It aids in her healing after the baby. It aids in giving her the nutrients she needs to sustain herself while taking care of this new baby. I was really intrigued by this idea and I thought, well, you know, nature sometimes is really wacky, but also nature and, you know, God or whatever you believe in knows what's happening. The things were designed for a reason. And so I was kind of like, well, you know, so there are many ways with which to consume a placenta, <laughs> most of which made me want to gag. I heard that you could do smoothies and you could just eat it raw and you could cook it and they even have recipes for it and I was like, whoa, 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 check please because I'm going to leave this restaurant. <laughs> Not happening for me. That to each their own, if that's how you want to consume your placenta, you do it. I, however, felt safer doing it, having it encapsulated. To encapsulate your placenta, they basically dry the bad boy out and put it in little pills that you can swallow whole. They don't taste like anything and you're good to go. Um, this cost around $200. And I say around because some places I've heard it cost a lot more and some places less. I paid a little bit less than that, but I'm pretty sure I got a discount because the placenta lady works with the home where I gave birth. So, <laughs> but it's going to cost you around $200. So there you go. So this is just my experience with it. Now, did it help me? I think it did. There's always the issue that it could have been in my head. But at the end of the day, I think, you know what? If it worked as a placebo, it still kind of worked because I felt better. I did not have nearly the mo weepy baby blue crazy thoughts that I had with my first two children. Now, like I said, I also took it in conjunction with some, um, you know, natural organic supplements. So maybe it was those. I like to think that they all work together. <laughs> and I will tell you too, that the one thing I've noticed is that you keep your placenta tablets in the freezer. I'm going to show you what they look like. Ta-da! There they are. They look kind of like a horse pill. You keep them in the freezer. It helps them last longer. And you're going to get anywhere from, you know, you, you might get 80 pills, you might get 150. It depends on how like, big your placenta is. My placenta apparently was really, really big, so I got a lot. But it all depends on that. And um, the one thing I did notice is that as I had been taking those pills, um, everything seemed kind of status quo, but I recently had not been good about taking them. And all of a sudden, my husband, I noticed I have bruises all over the place. And I am a nursing mom, so I'm thinking my iron might be low. And maybe the reason I was doing okay was because I was taking those placenta tablets. And the iron in that might have been helping me. This is all a maybe. This is not a definite. This is just kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not for sure. You can never be sure about these things. But I do believe that it was helping me. So end of the day, you have to decide based on considerations outside of pure science if you want to do it or not. To each their own, right? I figure it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so that was my experience with it. I'm glad I did it. I would probably do it again because like I said, I really don't think it hurt. I, I think it has helped me. Something helped me with my baby blues because <laughs> I definitely thought that was all better. And you know, if taking all of those, you know, kind of taking things to help better my body, that alone I think was a good step in the right direction because I am not always super healthy and that is one way that I could try to be a little bit better. So there we go. That is a little information, hodgepodge information about placenta encapsulation. Go look it up for yourself. You can go look it up, just Google that bad boy and you're going to have stuff pop up all over the place. Make sure you're looking at legitimate sites and not just a random woman's blog <laughs> and you will see there are some studies out there that have been done on consuming your placenta but there needs to be a lot more so hopefully we'll see that in the future and like I said bottom line 
Science does not know yay or nay. Take into f you're going to need to use other consideration when deciding to do it. And talk to people who've done it. See what their, you know, kind of their opinion is. That was another thing that I will add did help me decide to do it was that it seemed people who'd done it were very positive about it. And I don't know if it's just because you kind of, you were like, you committed, so you better like it. <laughs> but I'd like to think that it's because they had the same experience as me, which things seemed a lot smoother this time. Was it the placenta? I don't know. But it was something, and I'm glad that I did it no matter what. So there you go. Okay, so you guys make your own decision. I know it seems kind of funny, <laughs> but I hope that that helped a little bit. Just put, put it into perspective a little bit in the craziness of it. And that's that. I will talk to everybody later. Bye.